What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I want to give a shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. The Hollow King, Chris Gambrell, Mr. Play Beautiful, Beaver Gaming 64, Wildcat, Mark, Lord of Electricity, Matthew Valente, Betas Bandicoot, Nightwolf 37, Vocaloider 97, Septimius Arcturus Archer, Matt E, Phantom Knight, Geno, Heidi Markham, Zooksers, Roadrunner Run TD, Kevin, by the way, I'm a girl, Anene, David, Diablo 2604, Haley Mitchell, Joseph Allen, Lix Productions, Alan Barty, Ashley White, Sleepless, Mr. I Like Spam, and Magnum123. And I'd also like to give a big shout out to our executive producers, Joshua Fix, The Gimster 101, and Bevan Brummett. Thank you all very much for your support. If you want to become a YouTube member, click the join button, which is down by the subscribe button down below. And if you want to become a Patreon supporter, feel free to click the link down below in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. That is not going to help them. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure how we're going to be able to... They took away this man's gun recently. <laughs> the greatest Irish salesman of all time. I see you back there. Got one Irishman on my shoulder. Now I gotta deal with this. Jesus. Jacksepticeye's funniest home videos. They have made a return, and good God. I don't know what Jack's going to do, but oh, sorry. I keep getting notifications from our Discord. I'm waiting on I'm waiting on some some stuff to come through. I apologize. So, um, yeah. The greatest Irish salesman of all time, Jack Septicai funniest home videos. So, uh, Dahi. Um, what do you have to say about, uh, Jacksepticeye and the greatest Irish salesman of all time? Hey, you raise a good point there, Dahi. But, honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. There's, there's so many, there's so many different things that go into sales. And, honestly... The only thing that I could really see Irishmen being good at selling were our number one, potatoes, number two, whiskey, number three, uh, St. Patrick's Day, or sorry, St. Patty's Day uh, merch, which mm, conveniently it is uh, going, we are going into March and we are currently 13 days away from St. Patty's Day. Jesus. So, I guess maybe uh, maybe this is opportune for us to uh, react to this video, for me to react to this video. So, we go ahead and get this up on screen. Let's see what happens. This is the greatest Irish salesman of all time. And Jack except you guys funny some videos. Here we go. Hey. Hey, Jack. Hey. hey. What up? What's up? <coughs> It's me. I'm back to doing this again. Can you believe it? It's no. been so long no, it ain't. since we've had well, yeah, the funniest home videos. Did you miss it? Everybody keeps telling me they did. I'm going over here now. You all thought I forgot? That I didn't ever imagine about doing another funniest home videos? You thought that <coughs> fuck! You actually thought that I don't get forgot there. about Funniest Home Videos. One of the most successful series on the channel. One of the biggest bangers on the JSE. Nah, you're wrong. This is an actual, like, regular size bottle. I've just shrunk. But it's back, baby! Funniest Home Videos! It's been so long since we did one. I've been scouring the internet. Scouring. Looking for the best content to react to. Really diving hard and digging deep by going to Twitter and getting recommended stuff by you guys. I actually didn't do any of this work at all, but I'll take all the credit for it. And if you're excited for Funniest Home Videos to be back, hit that like button right now. Can, can, we, can we break 
the like button. There you go. We just break the system with how many likes are going to run in because Funniest Home Videos is back. The greatest piece of entertainment of React footage on YouTube. I'm putting it in your hands. The power. Hey, 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 hey. Greatest piece of React footage of all time. I'm going to have to have a combo with you about that, Jack. I, I mean, I think our channel's all right. I think our channel's, like, pretty good. Ours all yours. <laughs> but you know what we have to do, right? You know what we have to get into before this series starts again. Our mantra, our slogan, and the thing that we live by. <sighs> no! Get out of here! No one cares about a moment! Oh no, it's not coming off. Did you use the permanent and marker? A is for lovers who love one another. A is for ass, of which I like to eat. U is for you're the only one for me. G is for the only gamer I see. And H is for happy. I always feel it when you put them together. What do you get? Laugh. Laugh! I have the power. Laugh! It's never left me. Oh, I'm down here now. <laughs> We've got some zesty bangers for us today because people have been sending me this video a bunch. It's called the Ultimate Irish Prep Bowl. Are you guys ready to, to laugh again? Because I sure am. If these aren't funny, I'm going to block and ban everybody that sent me. Good luck. Grandma always said a salad a day will keep the tax man away. I'm not sure what that really means, but we all love a good salad. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why I think it's fake. I don't think it actually starts that way. You know, my my grandma always said, uh, my grand, or I'm sorry, my great grandma. <laughs> sorry, I had to clarify that. You know, my great-grandma always said, you know, an apple a day is the sharpest uh, bulb in the knife drawer. My grandma also had Alzheimer's, so, you know, she had some bad mental facilities. But, hey, I loved her all the same. Yeah, it, some analogies are weird, but, yeah, that, that one was a bit odd. It's like, a salad a day will keep the tax man away. It's like, was your grandma drunk when she said this? I think it's just... <laughs> A parody of these types of videos, but trying to figure out where it, where it is joking or where it's not is going to be our message for today. I'm not sure what that really means, but we all love a good salad, but no one wants to be cutting with a knife all day. Grandma's got arthritis, she can't be doing that. My <laughs> name is Ronnie Neville, and this is the old hey, Irish prep ball. I'll go very Ronnie, fair plenty if I ask your grand nibble father on your Ronnie. The, the ultimate Irish prep ball. Let's fucking go across the country. Oh, it's Irish prep ball. What is this well, video? Take some a tips. cucumber, one, two, three. It's so easy for delicious oh. fresh salad. Carrots go just as easy. Slice them up in no time at all. A bit of an onion, no more tears. The only tears you'll have are tears of joy. <laughs> I like this guy. Tears of joy, mate. The only thing you'll have are tears of joy. Tears, lads. Let's go. The only thing you're going to have is tears of joy when your family comes over and all the vegetables are sliced properly, man. Oh, I still don't know what's going on because his presentation is all over the place, but the product actually looks good. I want that. The amount of times I cut onions and I cry or sever a finger, I need this in my life. Isn't there a version of this that's like a, like just a hand board that you, what was that called? Easy Peely. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Well, this one. Here's this the thing, one. What was you that know, one called? Jack, you talk about severing fingers. I mean, honestly, all of this is, all of this is worth it in the end. Uh, you know, in terms of having, you know, these kind of things at your disposal. But uh, I recently got into chopping, uh, chopping stuff, and I got to be honest, uh, yeah, it not the best. I'm not the best at it. As a matter of fact, I kind of, you know kind of uh, relieved my hand of an ex of a part of a digit. Anyway, back to this. Or this! 
Oh my god, there's millions of them now! I remember seeing this see infomercial a shredder, when I was a teenager. I see a slicer. In between, I actually I see... used to watch like the Shop Direct channel. That's uh, and there's a slap chop. Yeah. Holy fuck! There's I've used a slap one. chop. There's so many. Of them. All right, I'll give you. A, I'll give you a go on that one, Ronnie. Look at you. Did the fucking peeler cut that haircut as well, did you? The fucking stay here. But this gets even better. The yeah. bowl can pivot. It's such a great idea. It lets you rinse and strain right in the same bowl. From what? This thing is fucking legendary. I sat here thinking that I was going to be making fun of this thing. I'm about to call up my accountant oh, and tell buy him one. how many can we buy. My favourite is the veggie holder. Fits perfectly in your hand and you get every last bit. Have a look at this, guys. In seconds, it's done. Yams. Those are not real potatoes, Ronnie. Have a look at this, guys. Them are Those yams. Those are sweet potatoes, Ronnie. Those are yams. You get out with golden wonders. Sweet potatoes. It's roosters. It's, it's man. Yukon Golds, man. Slice up some Yukon Golds. Get them going in there. Fry them up. Get some get some home chips. It's a sham. This man's more of a fake Irishman than I am. Americans and Irish, we have something in common. We love bananas. There it is! Bananas. Fucking Ronnie, home run, lads! Let's go! You know, Ronnie, I take it all back. You're a true lad. He's a fucking gamer. Look at that reveal. He's getting ready. I didn't know who was going to be under this towel. I going to say... To us Americans and Irish have one thing in common. We love our alcohol. <laughs> us Irish and Americans, we have a lot in common. But most importantly, liver failure. God. Oh, I'm it sorry. It could be anything. It could be a middle finger. It could be a dildo for all I knew. Well, what does he pull out of it? We God himself get you a partner. Gargantuan fucking right potato. Look at that thing. <laughs> and then watch this. You add cold water and strain. That's how you take out the starch. <laughs> the starch. The That's starch. That's how you take out the starch. <laughs> oh, he's a fucking legend. I love this guy. Taught me that. She knows all the tricks. Except how to not get her tries. She has no idea how to avoid that. But if you order right now, watch what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to include everybody's favorite blade, the waffle slicer. Absolutely free. Ronnie! The waffle slicer. Say fucking the waffle slicer. Yes, I am on my way to... I'm calling right now, Ronnie. Yeah, I'll, I'll take 15 of them. Oh, you can see that I'm not actually calling. <laughs> yeah! You know how I do that? It's like, oh, hold on, hold on. I, I'm getting a call real quick. Hold on. Hello. Yes. See, you can't actually tell because I hit the uh, close button. So, yeah, it's just like, hello. Yes. I would like to order a thousand. A thousand. Yes. How much will that cost? $29,000. Well, I'm going bankrupt. <laughs> there you go. Never mind. Y'all think you're slick, huh? <coughs> oh, Jack, we know you're not calling out of these silence. Don't want to hear any of it. Yeah, I'm getting 15 of these slicers and I want to s slice all of you up. If you have kids, this is a game changer. Little ones love the waffle Fuck slices. Fucking kids! Turn ordinary dishes into meals your family will remember. Ronnie, fuck them kids. I want this. I don't care if kids love waffle fries. Jacksepticeye loves an old waffle fry here and there. You get the whole set. The whole set. The whole set. 1999. Don't miss out. You heard it. Don't miss out. Don't miss out for Jack's sake. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. That's the face of a man whose entire livelihood is depending on you buying this vegetable slicer. If you don't buy this slicer, Ronnie's gonna go out in the streets. They're gonna take his house from him. No trouble. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> no trouble. That's one of the most Irish things I've seen in a while. Is Ronnie actually it's Irish? Ridiculously Irish. Because it's amazing. Ronnie Neville. Let's look him up. Oh. 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 No. Oh, that's a different... Oh, no. Oh. Please. Oh, God, no. No! <laughs> Fair play to Roddy. He's been watching closely the last four years. Saw how global half the US population was and realized he could flood the money out of shite. <laughs> that was glorious. Roddy's now legend. I want to meet Roddy and hang out with him. Uh, do you think his house is full of those? Like peelers everywhere. And he's just got like a bunch of other stuff that he's selling you. And you come into his house, he's like, ah, great. Thanks so much for coming over. If you come into the kitchen, I've prepared a bunch of food and we can all eat it. 
and then after that we're all going to go into the kitchen uh, out of the kitchen into the sitting room and we're all going to watch a movie don't miss out oh by jesus Sharani's back at it again look at that stance that's the stance of a lad who's coming in to sell you some stuff and you know he's going to succeed because he's sell you some shite irish irish people are good for two things drinking and talking and sometimes those go hand in hand for a beautiful marriage. He looks like he's got like a fucking knife in his hand. He's got a knife and a potato in his hand. He's ready to kill <laughs> if you don't buy this peeler. Grandad always said a banana a day would keep the doctor away. But look, regular peelers did slip the... Well, come on now. Are we keeping the tax man with the doctor away, Ronnie? Your grandparents are full of shite. I'm not sure what that really means, but grandma's got arthritis. Slice them up in no time at all. But look, regular peelers, they slip, they slide, they get stuck. Grandma's got arthritis. She can't be using one of these. Uh, grandma still got arthritis. God bless her. Arthritis. She can't get away from it. Ronnie, right, you're can't not even trying. Grandma's got arthritis. They slip, they slide, they get stuck. They're arthritis. Ronnie, you might as well be rubbing your penis against her, Ronnie. You're never going to. <laughs> There's plenty of Irish lads who've rubbed their penis against a potato, let me tell you. Sean? Sean? You, you sure you don't want to tell us something there, Sean? I, I don't have any experience. Ronnie and Evan here with the ultimate Irish peeler. This oh, is your doors. serrated blade, this is your julienne blade, and this is your grater on the back. You take a grater. And yes, I know I'm Irish. I know you have all the jokes. You pull <laughs> towards your serrated blade. Holy God! Settings. Take your cabinet. <laughs> the blade is double sided with a serrated blade. Oh my all God. Way up and all the way down. In seconds, that's your cold Yes, Yeah, shave it's all down. down. Try to peel one of these. Peel a squash. <laughs> No, Ronnie, I haven't. You ever tried to pee a squash? <laughs> I can't say that I have. My God, <laughs> there's something about him having a phallic-shaped object in his hand. I go, on, have you ever tried to pee one of these? <laughs> oh, Ronnie, you can say anything and I'm fucking laughing at this point. I'm... That's your cold sore, Don. Have I, you ever tried? I must be so gullible because I actually want this thing. I can't, every time I see stuff from these channels, I make fun of it and I laugh at it. But I genuinely want to buy all of them. They look so cool. My peeler grips in, it won't slip. It's like a hot knife through butter. From the a hot knife through butter. butter. That's butter. the face of the man who a hot knife through butter. A hot knife through butter. Goes through lots of things. Butter. My peeler Holy will God. even peel an onion. Start on the top and come right down to the root. No more tears peeling. The only tears you'll have are tears of joy. No, fucking said it again, right? Okay, that. I'm going to say, you know what I'd call that peeler? I'd call it the Shrek. Because that thing goes through onion layers like nothing. Hey, the legend! He's got, he's coming back to jokes. He's selling me on the product. He's showing it work flawlessly. He's got a great accent. He's got charm. And look at that haircut. Like a young Irish Steve Irwin. Fair play to you, Ronnie. Ronnie, you could sell me rocks at this point, and I'd buy them. For garlic, it's the best. Give it a rub. Give it a tap. Holy God. And it's done. Ronnie, that looks like shite. Give us a call. Yeah. On the one now, <laughs> and it's yours for just four. Why is Ronnie fingering that peeler? The ultimate Irish potato spiral. You dig him in, you turn him around. Now, the more you turn, the more he cuts. And around and around he goes. Around, around and around you go. go. Down into the bottom of the potato, and you'll get no spiral going out of you. On the base, there he goes, Ruddy, working his way down through the spud, spiraling all the way down, getting the peeler in, getting the peeler in. Oh, and it's a goal for Ruddy, all the way to the semi finals. <laughs> Any Irish people watching this video, do you remember on some of the Irish sports radio stations, watch it, or listening to some of the matches of Hurling or something? And there was, oh, there was that one presenter who sounded like that every single time. Oh, and Mr. Eamon McNamara, he's got the ball. He's hitting it down into the midfield, down to Owen Scully. Owen Scully hits the ball up into the air. Oh, over the bar it goes. Two points for Kilkenny. What a lad! I won't stop until every home in America has the ultimate... Home in speed. America. There it is. And there. And there. There it is. And there. And there. And there. And there too. And there too. Yes, Ronnie. Oh man, what a man.
I thought what a lad that we'd never get any better than the slap chop for presenters but Ronnie has proven us all wrong Ronnie is top of the game Vince can go suck a fart out of a nun's arse at this point because Ronnie has taken the cake I'm going to have this game can go suck a fart out of a nun's arse even though that's as crude as all anything, the way he said it, it's like, can go suck a fart out of a nun's arse. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I'm going to take Ronnie out for pints. This Ronnie, though. Gladly. Not that other no, not the other one. <laughs> There's a whole channel of ah, the noises! Irish football, the Ultimate Irish Peeler. There's a ton of products on this channel. Is there any more Ronnie, though? I want to see Ronnie. Ronnie's great. Ronnie, Ronnie should be at the top. Have you noticed the pattern here? It's like Taclite Pro, 79%. Taclite, 85%. Taxu, 92%. Yeah, Tac Lighter, 82%. Robo Twist, 76 Ronnie's up here with 98 and 100% ratings on these videos. Ronnie's the man. You need to get him back. I don't care about all these other phonies. What is this about? Why does everyone hate it? How do you open tough jar lids? Do you try this one? Why would you use this one? Or how about this one? Honey. This is the future. <laughs> Do you open it with a knife with the blade up towards you very dangerously? Do you run it under hot water? Or do you rely on sexism to get your jars open today? Honey, uh, uh, well, Jack, that's technically not sexism. It's just like, hey, maybe you'll have better luck with it this time. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not one to judge. Anyway. Introducing Robo Twist, oh, this a thing. jar opener that easily twists off even the toughest lids. Just set it down, press the button, and watch it work. First, the Robo Strong <laughs> device locks down tight. Then, the powerful twisting action unscrews the lid. I've seen this thing a bunch. I think I might have reacted to one of these on the channel already. Have I? This looks like a sure waste of time. It's like, put that on. Wait a half hour. <laughs> Even the toughest stuck jars don't stand a chance. Robo Twist is ideal for seniors and arthritis sufferers. She's <laughs> got her trifle. She'll never be able to get away from it. No matter what happens, all of these commercials. Old people have arthritis. My mom's got arthritis. It, even the strongest of us sometimes need our match. He's not even fucking trying. Robo Twist has the muscle you need. Even the strongest of us sometimes need our match. He's making a mockery out of you, Granny. Granny's over here actually missing uh, a hip to get this thing over. Sufferers. But what uh, the fuck is going to pop off? And this guy's like, oh. Let's face it, even the strongest of us sometimes meet our match. Robo Twist has the muscle you need. <laughs> and there's no job Aww. it can't tackle. <laughs> that's, that's cute. Right. <laughs> oh, that's granny. adorable. I love that. I wonder if that's actually his granny and he's just like, he's just like, hey, Grandma, look, I'm having trouble opening it too. You know what we need? The Robo Twist. That sticky jar of jam. Robo Twist gets. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? What did she do? What did she do? Did she throw a bunch of marmalade on it? Did she? Uh, what? <laughs> did all the other jam jars explode around this one? That's what, what I'm happened? saying. It looks like a monster swallowed it and puked it back up. How did you yeah. jam all over that like that if the lid is stuck? If That's it's right. never been opened. Whether the jar is big or small, Robo Twist can open them all. That's so satisfying! Big or small, Robo Wait. Twist can open. Dude, that's tight! I want a Robo Twist just so I can open up three jars at the same time and listen to me. I gotta make my own beats out you of need this. To, you need to open Robo three Twist. jars at the same time. Can open them all. Oh, and yeah. it's compact for easy storage. Robo Twist can open them Hell all. Hell yeah! And Robo Twist is done! Bars! This is the future. Oh, oh we hit him again with it! Hit us again with it! Hit this us again with it. Go order your Good God! That's the sound of Granny's knuckles popping as she tries to open up the jar. Because Granny's gonna uh, have her uh, and as she said, uh, Jared Dale, keep the giants away. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what that really means, but Grandma's got our choice. She knows all the tricks. It's amazing, you know, how God made it. Wait, why does this have so many dislikes? Why do people not like this? <laughs> so I'm sitting here <coughs> watching some commercial for Robotwist that automatically unscrews jars for you, so that's why I'm here. 
and they show the sticky jar of jam. I'm sorry, but if your jam jar looks like this on the outside of it, you've got a lot more problems in life than unsticking a jar lid. Perhaps not getting the lid off that jam jar is nature's way of telling you to throw it out already. <laughs> Yeah, that was, uh, that was too much. <laughs> I want to see more of the adventures of Granny and the Muscle Man. That's what I'm talking about! They Same. seem like a great duo. I would watch that anime. It was a super muscular dude, and then Baba Chan next to him. Just going on adventures. Oh no. This one has comments and likes turned off. Ooh. Why? What happened here? This is, oh, we're getting into the fucking weeds of it now. There's going to be deep lore for this channel. I found my new obsession. This is, uh, oh, get ready for tons more funniest home videos from Jack's Happy Guy, because we're going deep on this one. Ah! When it's warm, you'd love to open every door and let fresh air into your home. The trouble is, you'd end up letting lots of bugs into your home as well. Oh, no! Now, there's Magic Mesh, the new type of screen door that opens easily and then magically closes itself behind you. Whoa. So if your hands are full, or you have a forgetful family member, if I left the door open like that, my mom would chase me down, make me come back, and close it. Just as a lesson. What an absolute box! <laughs> Get off the phone and learn some manners! You can still let fresh air in and keep annoying bugs out. The secret wow. isn't really magic, it's magnets. 18 magnets to be exact. Some would say that magnets are nature's magic. Why, why does nobody like this? I'm kind of genuinely into it. Like, I know... Screen doors are a thing in most American homes already uh, to keep the bugs in and out. We don't have them here. I just want the window open. There could be all sorts getting in here. I could have a whole uh, family of five badgers coming in the window. There's a mosquito in here already! Great for pets too, because instead of scratching and whining, <clears throat> oh, and it puts an end to slamming doors because it closes gently every time. Wait, what? Please, and it puts an end to slamming doors because it closes gently every time. No, it doesn't. No, you that... can't just have this on your house. You're still going to have to close the door. It makes it easy for robbers to come into your house because they can get in super quick. <laughs> and then the clacking of the magnets will wake you up and then you'll catch the robbers and they'll go to jail, bad guy. Plus, it's so easy to install. No nails, no screws, no tools. Excuse me? Plus, it's so easy to install. No nails. Velcro. She has nails right there. It goes up in seconds and stays up all season long, no matter how often you, your kids, or your dog go through. So let the fresh air in and keep those annoying bugs out with Magic Mesh. Guys, I kind of want one. I kind of want all of this. Why does nobody like Magic Mesh? I don't get it. What the hell is a fucking tack bat? Tack tool? Tactical lighter? Tack light pro, tack light, the boom torch, the tack zoom, the shawala spray mop, tack light power, tack lantern, the egg pot. These are some fantastic names. Hi, I'm Tack Septicai, and welcome back to my tactical Jesus. channel. All right, we'll give him one more. This is 68%, <clears throat> arguably the worst rating out of anything I can see on this page. Attack glasses. So I want to see why. Everybody has sunglasses, but most sunglasses make things darker. What? Of course most sunglasses make things darker. That's what they do. They block out the sun. <laughs> Not these. Nick Bolton here with the latest from Bell and Howell. Instead they, they enhance the sun and will blind glasses. you immediately. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Nick, you're no Ronnie, but my god do you look cool. If you want to look like Jeff Goldblum from The Fly, get the tack glasses. Invisible objects suddenly become visible. Enhanced colors to give you vision as sharp as an eagle's. Are your, is the exposure in your eyes turned way too high? Turn it down with the tack glasses. And survive even the harshest conditions. Look, That's not the harshest conditions. Glasses just make things darker, which could be deadly in a tactical situation. I didn't even but see him! glasses improve optical clarity. So you can see clearly, even in low light. Whoa! If you've never seen how this light filtering technology works, <clears throat> check this out. Nothing to see, right? But look again as we hold up our tack glasses. <laughs> That's a polarizing filter. That's nothing special. I've done that before. It's actually very easy to remove the polarizing filter off of the screen of a computer and then have that polar same polarizing filter put onto sunglasses. I've actually seen that done before. 
country. Look at this screen. Yes. What do you see? I see a white screen. It should be a dark screen. That should be a black screen because the sunglasses just make things darker. And that could get you in a tactical situation like being outside the Radisson in SoCal. White? Just a plain white screen. Now we're going to do our sunglasses. Whoa, this is cool. How does it do that? That is so awesome. What? Oh my. Whoa, what? That is so cool. <laughs> that is amazing. They're not seeing a damn thing. There's nothing on that screen for them. These guys, I, I'm just gonna say guys, I think these people are paid actors. I think they're phonies. I think they're phoning it up for the camera. I don't believe this at all. I'm spert. Whether you're on the trail or on the golf course, on the water or on the slopes, with tack glasses, you'll always see clear <laughs> on the water or on the slopes. Obvious CG background. With tack He's like, haha, I'm totally on the mountains. <laughs> he was not on the fucking slopes. He's on a stage. That's green screen. You can't see my eyes. This is a very serious video, and I'm gonna take it very seriously. You'll always see clearly without any glare. There's just nothing like him on the market today. Act now to get. There's lots like it on the market today. Yes. This is 2017. Aren't these basically just like? The same sort of goggles you get when you go snowboarding? I kind of want them to review them and call bullshit. We'll even include a blank card that reveals our American Eagle when you put on your attack class. <laughs> American Eagle. <laughs> you know what? I wasn't sure if I was going to get them at all, but I'm sold now. I gotta get myself a pair of attack glasses so I can just get that American Eagle card. Whoa. If that website doesn't just scream clarity and top class at you, I don't know what does. I'm sold, man. I want the tack glasses. The tack glasses might just be the greatest pair of glasses that humanity has ever seen. This is the forefront of technology in the world. And you know why I believe it? Because of this lady right here. Very, very cool. I wasn't a believer until she said that. And now I want them. Well, that's gonna do it for today. That does it for another episode of Jacksepticeye's Footiest Home Videos. It's back, everybody. We've breathed new life into it. We're on to season three now. The filler arc is over. Those filler episodes are gone. You know, like episode 137 to episode 940 of Naruto. We're going to dig deep Jesus. into this channel. We're going to see the best of the best next time. And we're really going to see what I actually want to order. I, I literally want to buy all the things that I saw today. As much as I made fun of them. I want them all. But I hope you had fun and I hope you had lots of... Ah! Why not stick an L subscribe on the channel? <clears throat> Look down below. There'll be a red button that'll say subscribe. Uh, sure, subscribe. Great for her try is. She can't click the mouse to do it. So you're going to have to do it yourself. She's got her try. About 40% of people who watch the channel aren't even subscribed. They're freeloading moochers. They're sitting around watching the videos without any sort of commitment. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. Also, please leave a like in the video if you're excited for Funniest Home Videos to be back. And we'll do plenty more in the future. We've got an, we've got a new overlord today. And his name is Ronnie. I'm not sure what that really means, but Grandma's got arthritis. She can't Arthritis. Granny's got arthritis. Oh, cho 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 cho. Good lord. So <clears throat> I was gonna say he's the greatest Irish salesman of all time, but not not the best salesman of all time. For me. Mm, it's still hard to beat Billy Mays. Billy Mays here! Yeah, because let's just be honest. That energy and his presentation was just top of the line. There's very few things I, I, I would say, you know, I wouldn't say that he... Good lord. So, I I don't know what to... I, I don't know what to... <laughs> God. So... I've thought about buying items and seeing if they are legit or if they're bullshit. I wouldn't mind doing that. I, I'd like to do that. I mean, I don't know. The truth is, there's a lot out there for uh, you know for this I, I, uh, for for something potentially to do that. But we're just gonna have to see how it plays out. But right now, yeah, I I'm actually gonna have to end the video here. So hopefully, you all enjoyed. And uh, hopefully you all will uh, tune in uh, to mo or for more of this. But if you want to see more from Jack Septic, feel free to click his name in the title of the video. 
And if you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell to stay notified, and uh, also don't forget to leave a like on the video. And I guess until next time, I'm Nate. I'll see you then. Peace out.